What's up guys? I figured I would do my live tonight because I'm probably not going to want to do anything on Facebook or live for the next couple days. But I had something good to share with you guys. Well, it's not really good. It's just like an actual like thing that took place not that long ago. So it's kind of like fun to share the story because it's kind of ironic story. All right, Sarah, you got to stay on for this because it, the, the story behind what just took place is absolutely insane. All right, so here it goes. So obviously it's, you know, 4th of July weekend. Me and John want to go do something. So, you know, we take Peter down to St. Pete and we get to this hotel and we're like, okay, so we still have about, you know, an hour left of sunlight. Mm, long story short, we all go down to the pool. I stay in my regular clothes. So I'm like, I'm not going in the pool. It just rained. It's cold. So Clint, you need to watch this because it's funny. All right. So listen, this is what happens. Okay. You guys are not going to believe this. Clint, you have to watch this video because it's really funny. So <laughs> I had to take a second to laugh. Okay. So we're sitting by the pool and, you know, Peter has to make friends and all that other fun stuff because, of course, I mean, who doesn't want friends by the pool, right? So anyways, he makes friends by the pool. It's a bunch of kids, whatever. So, you know, those of you that do not know my son's name, and I'm sorry I keep moving this thing because I don't know, it's plugged in to my thing so it doesn't die. So I want to make sure it doesn't die in the middle of my, my little live that I got going on. So anyways, those of you that do not know what my son's name is, my son's name is Peter, okay? Now, Peter, for those of you that do not know how that works in the Greek culture, but everybody that's Greek is named John, Nick, and Peter. Not really, but really. I mean, seriously, if you walked into a Greek Orthodox church and said, John, Nick, Peter, they would all turn around, at least 40 to 70% of them. So anyways, Peter's having a good old time in the pool, you know, throwing the ball, whatever. I'm sitting there and, you know, I have learned to become an adult and not, you know, flip off at the handle because I used to do that. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people here know that know me, know me from back in the day, know me. They know I used to flip out like this. So I've come a long way. Okay. So I get a pat on the back for today. Just so you know, I'm telling myself in advance that I get a pat. I get this many pats. Okay. So anyways, we're sitting at the pool and Peter's hanging out with this kid and this other kid, right? So Peter goes off and he runs off and he like, I don't know if he went to go use the bathroom or if he went to go get the ball or whatever. They were like throwing the ball back and forth in the pool. So as he goes off, he, these kids, right? One of the, like one of the kids goes, oh, Peter Pan. I wonder if Peter Pan can go get the ball. So of course me being like the defensive mother I am, Yet I have been in situations where I should just should, and I've learned to control myself over the years. Okay, this is where I get my pat on the back. I didn't say nothing. So then the other kid was like, "Yeah, Peter Pan. Oh, Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater." So I'm like, "All right, let me not say nothing." These are kids. I mean, ultimately, one of the kids really wasn't a kid because Peter is ten, and that kid had to have been like I don't know, fourteen or fifteen. Okay, so this is what happens. This is the funny part. You guys ready for the drop? It comes. <laughs> so there's this chick that's sitting across the pool, like diagonal from me. And she's got blonde hair. She's probably around the same age as me, maybe a little bit older. But she starts like saying, you know, you need to watch your kid, this, this, and that, yada, yada, yada. You know, watch what your kid's saying. And I go, I'm sorry, like, who are you talking about? So then she's like, you know, Peter. And I go, my son? So then I was like, what did he say? Because obviously me and John are very, very strict, like in that fashion, as far as like making sure that our son knows how to respect adults and people that are older than him and knows how to respect people in general, just period. Okay. You must know how to do that because a lot of parents do not know how to control their children. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm not even going to get into that right now because it would be like a, a like a two hour soapbox for me, but Besides the fact, okay, the irony behind the story gets better. So she's like saying something across the pool. So of course I get defensive. And I'm like, you talking about my kid? So I told John, I'm like, I'm going to go over there and talk to this lady. So I walk over there and I'm like, hey, I go, so what's the problem? Like, what is your issue with my son, Peter? You know, and she goes, you know, the kid calling, you know, Peter Pan. I mean, that's just rude. That's absolutely absurd. This, this and that. And I'm like, oh my God. 
this is me. Okay. This is where I felt like a dumbass. So she's like, I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much for standing up for him. That's so nice of you. And she's like, wait a minute. And I'm like, what? And she goes, my kid's name's Peter and he's in the pool. And I'm like, well, my kid's name is Peter and he's in the pool. <laughs> so ultimately what took place here, okay, was you have two moms that are like super alpha aggressive. Okay. That originally I was about to walk over there and be like, listen, lady, you got something to say about my kid. You better say it to me and I'll handle it. Don't get loud with my kid because then we're going to have problems. But what was really happening was she thought that that kid was making fun of her kid and she was taking offense to it. It just so happened that both of the kids were named Peter. How funny is that? Right? So it gets better. It doesn't end there, okay? I miss you too, Sarah. <laughs> Art, I'm telling you, this girl, I wanted to walk over there and it was a beater ass. I'm like, wait a minute, let me get the whole story. When I got the whole story, I'm like, wait a minute, we could totally be BFFs. So anyways, not really, just kidding. I don't have very many BFFs. I can count them on like this many fingers. Anyways, all right, so <laughs> we go through it and she was like, no, I heard him say this, this and that about a Peter Pan, this is not whatever. So to be totally honest with you guys, I was sitting right there by the pool. I'm not deaf, okay? I'm sure that my employees and my husband can vouch for that. I'm not deaf. I have wonderful hearing. I might have selective hearing, but it's absolutely wonderful, okay? So I hear everything, and I heard the kids say that. Now, in my position as being a business owner of a successful company in Tampa, and also being a grown adult, okay, if Peter didn't hear it, okay, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but if Peter didn't hear it, obviously, I didn't want to make a big deal about it because A, I don't want to start any shit, B, I don't want to hurt my kid's feelings. Because if he didn't hear it, then shit, he didn't hear it. You know what I mean? So why would I make a big deal about it? You know, I just, obviously, that's things that I've already heard about the name Peter. It doesn't surprise me. You know, do I want to choke the kid? Sure, of course I want to choke the kid. But is that going to happen? No. So here's where it comes down to. So we're sitting by the pool. Me and her are talking about this. And the kid that said this comes over by the side of the pool. And he goes, I don't see what the problem is. Or I don't even know what sparked this conversation, to be totally honest with you. But all I know is, the kid, you know, she said, I heard you say Peter Pan. And I think that's very rude. Like, you shouldn't say that. You, you, you really should, you know, what you're gonna, whatever you're going to say, whatever she said. Okay? I didn't say anything at that time. So then the kid decides to lie. Okay? That's what pissed me off. You're going to lie. Okay? First of all, you did say it. Second of all, I didn't say anything when you did say it. Third of all, where in the hell are your parents? Okay? So the kid's by the pool and he's like, I never said that. I'm like, actually, yes, you did. And so then she goes, yes, you did. Now you got two, like, aggressive moms that are like, <laughs> seriously, Tina. Then you got two aggressive moms that are like, yes, you did. Like, child. <laughs> so anyways... We're telling this little kid, like, where's your parents? He's like, why? So you could tell him what I said? I'm like, so then you did say it. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to argue with you. There's, like, no argument to take place here. You said it, and you shouldn't have said it. I was like, now you're lying about it, and you're being a bully. That's what bullies do, okay? John actually brought up the fact that he was being a bully, okay? Because he's trying to say that us women were harassing him. But in all actuality, we were just calling him out on his shit. And telling him that, listen, this is what you said. So she, he's asking, like, Peter, did you hear that? No, he didn't hear it. Because if he did hear it, he'd probably drown you in the pool. No, he did not hear it. I heard it because I was sitting right next to you and you didn't know I was his mom. Dumbass. So anyways, from that point, this is like, I must, like, warn you guys out there. Those of you that have children, okay? raising children in this society okay teach your children how to respect people and not i mean you really shouldn't pick on people or bully people especially when you're not like in a physical condition or in any sort of condition to do so but even if you were in a condition to do so 
you shouldn't do it. Bullying is wrong. Talking bad about people's names is wrong. Doing that kind of shit is wrong. Leaving your child at the pool while your mommy and daddy are up in the room is wrong. Because this is when your child can drown in the pool and things happen. You know, things like this where you got two aggressive moms that are in the like side pool and talking about this kid that's running in the mouth. You have no control of your child. You haven't even told your child, taught your child how to have some manners. This makes me mad, okay? So we won't go into this, like, what actually, like, my personal feelings are about it. Because seriously, the kid was lying and he kept saying, like, I'm not lying, I'm not lying. I'm like, I'm not deaf, I'm not deaf, okay? So you said it, just apologize. So then the kid apologizes. I'm like, dude, we're cool now, man. Like, shake hands, we're cool. Be done with it, we're done with it. He kept going on and on and on about it. So I'm like, all right, now I really want to know where your mom is at. Well, why? What are you going to tell her? Where is she? Well, she's in the room. Where's your dad? He's in a room. So let me get this. You're down here at the pool all by yourself. And you look like uh, 12, 13, maybe 14. Yeah, I'm down here by myself. Okay. So moral of the story, because I won't even mention the rest of the story. Honestly, me and this girl actually got along. I actually went over there because I was going to check her ass because I was like, hey, listen, I don't know what you're saying to my kid. All I know is that if you have a problem with my kid, you're going to take it up with me and not with him because I'm the parent and I'm sitting here monitoring my child. So if you don't want to monitor your child or even guys, you should definitely teach your kid right from wrong. My kid, he never pulled that shit ever, 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 ever. And this was one of those kids I had to tell him, guys. I wasn't going to lie to this kid. I said, you, my dear, you are going to be one of those kids in high school that gets beat up. You want to know why you're going to get beat up? Because you're going to be a liar. And one day you're going to get caught up in your little lie and someone is going to beat you up. Let this be a lesson learned. Don't lie. If you get caught up in your lie, confess. Yeah, okay, I said it. And you know what? I'm sorry. Cool. Then we're cool. No problem. But you want to keep going on about it? I mean, honestly, I want to jump in the pool and, like, you know, choke this kid. But I can't. I am over 21 and I cannot choke a child in the pool. So this is how I've started my 4th of July weekend. Art. <laughs> so listen, Art, you have to tell you this. <laughs> Never piss off Mama Bear. And listen, this goes for all my people. I am I am very protective over like my people, like over my my really good friends, over my people who I consider family and especially over my kid. And listen, I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of naming him Peter at the time, but it is a strong name, guys. Okay? And we have a Greek background and we will continue to build that Greek background. It's just ironic that this chick that was sitting at the pool just so happened to have another kid named Peter. So you got two kids in the pool named Peter. And we are, I know that those kids were talking about my Peter, but I didn't say nothing because he didn't hear nothing. I'm like, all right, no harm, no foul. But if you know you, you mess with my kid, I'm probably gonna get involved and you don't want that. You do not want me to get involved in any way, shape, or form, okay? You want me to always stay out of it. So that's what happened at the pool today. And we were only down there for an hour. A very exciting hour at that. Mm -hmm. So John, yes, he did have to come over and, you know, diffuse it a little bit. He's the one that actually brought up the fact that the kid was being a bully. And, you know, he's like, listen, you're being a bully, so just stop. You know, it's not good to be a bully. It's just not. It doesn't make you doesn't make you any better to be a bully it doesn't you know what i mean listen if you want to talk shit talk shit listen i'm the person i'll talk shit and i'll talk shit and the same shit i talk is the same shit i say to your face because i'm just like that that's my personality very straightforward i don't know any other way to be so anything i've ever said I, it's the same thing i would say to your face but guys just the bigger like picture about this whole situation i just thought it was ironic that there was another kid in the pool named peter and she thought that this guy was talking about her peter and he's really talking about my peter i mean what the what are the odds of having two kids in the pool named peter i mean seriously i mean come on right i mean right eh. 
Anyways, if you have kids, please teach them manners. Please teach them do not like try to go and bully kids. And please teach them if they did decide to go bully kids, be prepared for the repercussions. Because you might bully somebody one day that you probably shouldn't have bullied. I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about. Right? Right. About that, Mark Puccetti, you just missed my whole story. You're going to have to rewind it. Kids are ultimately respect. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, guys, that's my story. Never piss off Mama Bear. That's never a good thing. Our damn, the kid was still giving sass. Dude, when I tell you he was giving sass, he was, like, being super sassy. Like, super sassy. That he did not say this at all. I didn't say any of that. I'm like, listen, kid, now you're telling me I'm a liar. And I heard you word for word. I just didn't say anything to you because my kid didn't hear it. So this is when that pissed me off, like really, really pissed me off because he was being a liar. This is when I had to tell him, like, the, you are going to be the type of child that's going to get beat up in high school. 100%. You are definitely in for an ass whooping. It's coming for your high school year. It might not happen in your freshman year, maybe not your sophomore year, but it'll happen in your junior or your senior year. It's going to happen to you, 100%. Unless you change yourself right now, okay? Okay. So, that's the story. Jeff, you're going to have to hit rewind on this because I think you will enjoy my story of, uh, you know, moms by the pool. I guess I'll have to call this, you know, battle of the moms at the pool slash becomes BFFs at the end because me and her started laughing like <laughs> this whole time. She thought that one of those kids was my kid. First of all, my kid looks like me. You're not going to think like some other kid with brown hair. That's, you know, super, 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 super not tan is my kid. Okay. So that was kind of stupid on her end. But we won't talk about that because she's cool. Right. But, yeah. She thought that, you know, one of the kids was talking bad about her kid. I thought she said that my kid was talking bad about other kids. And that that was the case. Obviously, it was going to get involved. Okay. But, in all actuality, there was some random kid at the pool. Talking shit about Peters. And we just so happened to birth Peters. Me and her both birthed a Peter. And I can assure you, mamas are never going to let anybody talk bad about their babies. Ever. So, do not mess with mamas. Number one. Number two, do not bully people. And number three, do not lie. Because you will get caught up. And when you do get caught up, it may not be a good thing for you. Because when you're younger, that's when the kids, they really don't care. Now where I come from, where I come from, they don't care at all. You got jumped or something like that. So much nicer nowadays in 2000, moving on to 2020. Nicer, okay? Maybe a little bit more cyber gangster keyboards, you know? Back in the day, we didn't have keyboards, okay? We had face-to-face talks. So anyways, that's the story of my day. You must rewind this because, Jeff, I think you'll love it. I was being a very, very good person today, and I deserve kudos. Right, John? Yep. Because I literally could have jumped in that pool, and I could have just literally choked the kid. And then I would have had to have problems with the parents. I could have made a big scene, you know, and I did so well. I controlled myself, and I didn't say anything bad. The only time I actually got riled up was when the kid lied. So, anyways, we'll leave it at that. I think it was quite a funny story. And, um, yeah, this kind of stuff I just can't make up, you know. It's funny stuff. So, I hope everybody has a wonderful 4th of July tomorrow. And I will probably see you guys this weekend at some point. Just, I really need to disconnect at some point just to get a little R&R, maybe, like, clear my head a little bit. And I will talk to you guys soon. Chrissy, you're going to have to rewind this video and look at it because the the shit that just took place is insane. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for tuning in for my wonderful soapbox. This was a good one. See ya.